What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day so far. Thanks for stopping on in guys. I have a little guide for you guys today. Today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be one that I have kind of held on doing for a little bit, but I believe now is a good time to do it. It is going to be the guide that tells you do not do these things in this game, essentially. Uh, of course, you can do whatever you want. These are just tips to help the game play out better for you. If you want to do these things, so be it. I'm not one to tell you how to play the game. It is a video game. Play how you would like. But this is me telling you don't do these things. You're going to thank me later for these. But guys, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And we're going to jump right on into the video. Let's go. All right, guys. So this first one that I'm going to give you, we're actually over here at the White Springs. And it is going to be do not buy ammo from vending machines. As you can see, there's the ammunition vending machine here. And if I open it up, look at this. Four caps for a single 308 round. Same with the 556. Up to four caps. Nine caps for a 50 caliber round that is just way too much if you have a 50 caliber machine gun you know how much ammo you go through so let's say you buy around 50 which isn't even a full mag that is going to cost you 450 caps that's an insane amount of caps to spend on ammo i recommend paying no more than one cap per ammo uh one cap per ammunition round so as you can see there's some 10 millimeter here for two caps that's not terrible but if you buy all 40 of these you're going to be paying right around 80 caps it's still not worth it in my opinion especially for how fast you go through ammo it's just cheaper to buy the actual uh the actual resources to craft those ammo or player or player vendor hop you can probably find most ammunition in player vendors if it's a very popular ammunition. If players are like me, they're going to be selling them for one cap for each round. And some players even give them away for free as long as you take them off their hands. So definitely keep your eye out for that, guys. I do not recommend paying that much for ammunition. It is just way too expensive. Don't do that. You're going to thank me later. Trust me. All right, guys. On to the next one. I'm actually up here in Vault 79. So let's say you completed the Wastelanders quest line and you have your gold bullion and you decide I'm gonna go visit vault 79 and look for regs so I can buy my secret service armor well you'll be surprised because my next tip is do not buy the secret service armor from regs do not do that that is way too expensive and even though you have the gold bullion it it's just a waste it's way too much you could definitely save out and buy it a different way. So me scrolling down, as you can see, I did buy my Secret Service armor from him. The legs and arms are going to cost you $750 each. The chest piece is going to cost you around $1250. That is just way too expensive. So even if you don't buy the helmet, which you don't really need, you're already up to $4250. That is a crazy amount, and then if you add the helmet, which is right around sixteen fifty, you're sitting at a, a whopping five thousand nine hundred gold bullion. That's way too expensive. Simply wait for it to reappear with Minerva. I know what you're saying. Minerva's not always around, but when she is around, the items that she has, guys, are truly worth it. Do not spend your gold bullion with regs for the secret service armor simply wait for it to pop up with minerva i know what you're saying when is the next time minerva is coming around how do i know there's a website i use it is called nuka knights nuka knights is a data a data miner for fallout 76 so he kind of knows where everything is going to be ahead of time and he has actually a list of her next stocks on his website website is in the description down below be sure to use that to figure out where minerva is i'm pretty sure there's tons of guides and websites that tell you exactly when she's gonna pop up also whenever she has a secret service armor i'm normally pretty good about letting you guys know about it so yeah save yourself the frustration do not do all that grinding to get it from regs just simply wait i know you're like i want my armor now just wait trust me it's worth it it's worth the wait all right guys for this next tip i'm standing here in the rusty pick and this is going to be me telling you if you get a good roll 
on a weapon, but it's not a roll you're gonna use, don't re-roll that weapon, simply craft a new one. So I'm gonna give you a example of this. As you can see, I have right here a quad railway rifle. That's right, the quad choo-choo gun. Now I know what you're saying, that's a really good roll on it. Well, I don't want quad on it. I want another bloodied explosive choo-choo gun like this one that I have now. So instead of re-rolling my quad, I am going to actually come down here to the weapon workbench, which is here in the rusty pick, very convenient. I'm gonna craft another one. And then if it's not something you want, go turn it in for script up above. This is gonna be a better way to not blow through script as fast because you're getting some return with each weapon. So you're not just blowing all the script and then it just never comes back. You can actually, you know, trade them in for more script so you can get some extra rolls out of it. It's going to save you a lot of frustration. Yes, you do need more materials for this. If it's something like the Secret Service armor, you're going to need the modules to even craft the armor to begin with. So keep that in mind. This is mainly for weapons like that you don't get from like 79, so Vault 79. So those like the uh, Goss minigun or the Plasma Caster, you need legendary scripts to craft those anyway. So this is a good way to do like basic weapons. Like if you're trying to get like a quad combat rifle or something like that, you can just craft more and then turn the others in for script. You're not gonna get the same amount of script back, but trust me, it's going to help you get more rolls going and it's just gonna make your life easier. Just, just don't re-roll a good roll. All right, guys, for the next one, this this is one that I'm starting to notice more and more of. It's going to be don't skip out on seasonal events. This includes events like Fast Knock, uh, Meat Week, Mothman Equinox, Invaders from Beyond, and other seasonal events like that. The reason why I say don't miss out, they do give you rewards that you can't get from anything else besides these events. I'm going to give you some examples like the Alien Disintegrator, the Fast Knock Mask, like a lot of them um, you just can't get on the regular. You can probably buy them from player vendors. Same with the plans for weapons. Um, Meat Week has the Pepper Shaker and more popularly the Weenie Wagon. You can only get those from that event. There's not another way to get those. So don't skip out on the events, even if you only do them one or two times. Just do them a few times, have some fun. Trust me, some of them are really fun. I know Fast Knock becomes exhausting because the robots go so freaking slow. But you know what? It's it's not that bad at the end of the day. You do get like a legendary weapon every time you do one and they add up pretty quickly. So might as well get the free script and get a free mask. You never know, hey, if you get a glowing mask, you're rich. So that's pretty cool. So yeah just don't don't skip out on the seasonal events and that's actually gonna bring me straight into the next tip i have for you and this is going to involve those seasonal event plants so my example i'm going to use right now as you can see i have two pepper shakers in my inventory currently what i'm going to tell you to do is do not sell any plants from seasonal events until the event is long gone so i have almost all the seasonal event plants from meat week because meat week just ended and i grinded the hell out of it well i'm not gonna sell these plans until about a week has passed maybe even two weeks from meat week i want meat week to be long gone and the reason is for this is if the event is still going on players are going to still be able to acquire the plans so they're not going to be interested in paying as much caps as they can for them they're going to try to get them for cheaper because if they want to do they can just grind the event and get the plan that way now when the event is long gone let's say it's been gone for about two to three weeks now so like let's just say i post this a month later right well all the player vendors that were selling them for super cheap have sold out by now the plans have been learned they're gone so now there's that hole in the market where it no longer exists you can charge a little bit more caps now for those plans that players can't get until you know the next helping of meat week rolls around which could be next year could be i mean no in bethesda could be like three months from now <laughs> as much as they bring back freaking fast knock you never know but yeah, no, save the plans until the event is long gone. Like, for example, I just posted my Mothman Equinox plans um, about, a, about, a, about a week ago. 
I just posted them like right when Meat Week started, so um, I didn't want to wait too long on those, but I also forgot I had them in my stash box, so they're in my store now. Just don't wait too long, but also the longer you wait, the more valuable they could be. So keep that in mind, guys. Just don't post them during the event. You're going to make that mistake once or twice, and you're going to realize, wow, now the pepper shaker is going for 8,000 caps, and I sold it for 2,000 crazy all right guys and for my very last tip it's do not forget to subscribe guys for more fallout content here in the channel if you guys like this video and want me to do another video of things you should avoid doing and things you just shouldn't do at all be sure to press that like button down below let me know in the comment sections the items that other people should avoid that i've missed in this video obviously this does not cover all of them there is so many things you shouldn't do in this game so be sure to let me know in the comment section down below guys and as always i'll catch you guys in the next video deuces